Well, I've got another change of venue, as you can see. This time, we're in a 2020 Toyota Sienna. This is their XLE. Well, let's take a peek. So I changed up uh, my audio a little bit because my first vehicle review or vehicle video, I don't say, I wouldn't say it went over very well because, well, the audio kind of sucked. It was a very, very nice truck, but in this case, I'm in a van, right? We're in a completely different type of vehicle now. Now I, we are, I should say my wife and I, were van owners for eight years. We had uh, essentially the, at the time, it was 2008 when Dodge uh, rebranded their Caravan with the new model, uh, complete redo. And we actually got one of those, 2008. And we had it for eight years, and we we loved, hated the beast. We really did. We absolutely loved it. But there are a few things about that van that I just despise. Thankfully, the biggest thing that I despise, this van fixes. And this is going to be one of those things that you can only get from Toyota currently, at least in the North American market. This is an all-wheel drive version of the Sienna. Most vans are front-wheel drive, and vans are heavy. They really are, and especially when you load them up with people and stuff, they get really heavy. And I can't say that in my town where we get lots of ice and it's lots of hills and bluffs and stuff, uh, that it does very well in the wintertime, because it did. We had lots of issues. I had to get that thing unstuck. I can't tell you how many times I had to pull her out with my truck. So, the nice thing about this van is it fixes all of that. Um, this is the XLE version of the Sienna. Uh, it is all-wheel drive, like I said. It has the navigation radio. It does not have, what I was really hoping to show you guys, the rear entertainment system. But, I digress. I do have ways of remedying that, which will be on another video, I will say that. Um, hopefully, the video that is gonna come out of this video is gonna be better than my last one, and I hope the audio really fills the need as well so uh, but this is the XLE this is the Toyota Sienna what is it right it is a very and I will say it's very tech rich even without the rear entertainment system which obviously is not going to really change the front of the van so much uh, it will a little bit because you usually have that blu-ray player or whatever that they put up in the dash however it will change the atmosphere in the front of the van because let's be honest if your kids are happy, you'll be happy too. Um, so that's kind of how it is. Uh, it is uh, it is awesome. I mean, that the comfort of it is is unre unremarkable. It really is. It's uh, like I said. I drove uh, a great caravan, or my wife especially drove a great caravan for eight years. I took that thing on huge, long, several thousand mile trips, and. I actually do like the way that this drives over my Grand Caravan did. Uh, there are comfort things that are different. Uh, like, I will say that this is a lot quieter. We had, uh, I will s this center console that they have here is a lot sturdier and ro more robust because it is more built in than it, the sliding thing that the Grand, Grand, Grand Caravan has. The nice thing about the Caravan is that it has a lot more cup holders, has a lot more, uh, I guess, American traits. Uh, it, this does not disappoint though because there are cup holders all, all over the place. So uh, let's kind of go dive through a little bit of the, the things that they've added to this van or at least that they have on this van, this specific model. Um, and we'll kind of end up at the radio because that's obviously a great uh, trait as well. But let's just kind of go over the, the gist of it real quick. On the center console at least, I have my digital controls for my atmosphere. Now this one has uh, the temperature control uh, system so I could just set the temperature and it'll take care of itself. I did automatically bring the fan down so it doesn't get too loud here. You can sync it, you can unsync it so each the passenger or the driver has different temperatures. The rear controls back here um, are also capable and I can turn those on and off from here as well uh, and change and allow them to change the temperature or I can change the temperature from, up, uh, from in front here. So it adds a lot of flexibility. Uh, those are always great to get those different, oh I'm hot, I'm cold. Well they can change their own temperature back there always a huge benefit uh, down below here we have uh, a cup holder uh, that actually adds two more cup holders from the dash from uh, basically a slide out tray it works pretty nice it it's functional and 
it adds two additional ones that they already have. I already have my two main ones up here. So it is extra. You go through the drive through and you don't, don't have anybody with you. You can then have four cups up here while you drive it home. We have our heated seat controls. This model has leather with heated seats uh, here. Basically, it's just a nice little uh, roll model that you can uh, go up and down and uh, turn it off or on. I have mine on currently. There is both USB power as well as DC 12 volt power up here as well. And then your, your 3.5 millimeter jack input is here. I don't see that staying around. It, it was not on the 2020 Tacoma. It's probably not gonna be on a future model of the Sienna. That's kind of how everything is going. So uh, whether or not you want that or not, just kind of keep in mind to that. <coughs> um, over on the left hand side, we have some uh, uh, things as well. So we have a nice little uh, koi tray. This is actually an added option that they added on this model. Um, and then above that we have our, or I should say the right, we have our power door off. So that's going to be on or off for the actual sliding doors on the side of the van, the, the rear doors. You can actually turn that power sliding door on and off there. You'll have your parking sensor, which is the little beep, beep, beep modules that are the bumper, the traction control system off, and then the rear vent, which is the rear windows back behind everybody. The last windows of the van, side windows. They don't open, they don't roll up and down, but they do side vent, which means basically they flare out a little bit. Uh, so that's the gist of the controls up here on the dash. Then we have the controls on the steering wheel. We have our volume up and down, our modes, our uh, select up and down, our vo uh, basically our talk, to our, uh, talk system, the voice control system, picking up the phone, hanging up the phone. On the right hand side, we have our directional pad. Uh, we have our laid uh, departure and then the, the sonic uh, cruise control, adaptive cruise control. And then we actually have our cruise control stick down here below as well. The sticks, light control on the left hand side, wipers and everything on the right hand side. This one is equipped with the automatic light function which is not on all models. Um, it is a handy model, a handy mode I will say, but it is definitely not a necessity by any means. And of course, uh, instrument cluster above, this one does is equipped with a sunroof, a sliding sunroof. So we have our sunroof controls, we have our light controls inside. We actually have a SOS button up here uh, so that you can actually hit it. This one is a connected model. It does have the capability of sharing Wi-Fi, things like that. Uh, and then we have the conversation mirror, as it is, as well as sunglass holder. So we pop this down, we can get to where our, we can store our sunglasses. I've actually been storing them up here just because, uh, well, I don't want to forget them when I'm getting done to this van. Uh, and then you could pop it up and just do conversation mirror mode, but then you could hide it away. Uh, so in general, it is a very comfortable ride as well. So the sound system is quite good. Uh, the the ride it is very plush it's very powerful um, i'm going to go through the instrument cluster as well as the radio next uh, so i'm probably going to get the cameras a little bit different for that side of view but i mean if you look around at the van here uh it is it is a van i mean there's this is the seven seat model they do offer an eight seat model as well uh only on certain trims this trim they do not offer it i don't know if they offer the eight seat in anything with the uh, all-wheel drive they might I don't I don't know I haven't looked that up to be honest but um, the only thing that is really missing in my view for what we would want for our family would probably be the rear entertainment system because that is a, a huge benefit uh, but like I said it's not a necessity it's something that you can kind of add which is what we've been doing for years since we got rid of our van which did have a rear entertainment system we went to a Jeep Wrangler four-door we added basically a tablet holder in the back and I've been using my, my iPad for that ever since. So, pretty awesome, very, very comfortable, and uh, classy product, if I, if I do say so. So, great job, Toyota. You did a good job on this van. So, with the power door sliding doors on, I'm coming into the back seat now, and uh, there's a button here on the, down on the side here that you can use to close it. Now you don't have to have those power doors on. So, oh, you can actually use it just manual doors if you choose to. Um, with these seats as well, uh, they you know they recline. They have armrests. They have window shades. There's a lot of really nice features with this. Back here, I can actually you know control my temperature. So I hit the auto button, it automatically turned it on up front for me. I could change the mode, I could change the temperature. If I want to create hotter or colder back here, I could change the airspeed back here. You hear that kick back up. 
uh, or I can turn it off, right? The rear seats back here. I haven't been back here yet, really, to be honest. Um, I definitely required quite quite a bit, so it's actually not. It's actually pretty comfortable. Still have, in this case, the the shades, the window shades. I don't have any window shades at the back, but that's obvious. Um, helps out with the sun, at least back here. We do have. Oh, look at that! There is actually two USB ports back here as well on the driver's side with this little cubby, which I'll show you. Um, speakers back here. It's it's a solid van, man. It's just everything about it. That you have all your uh, everybody can kind of control their own air bed, except for the person that's in the center seat. If you have a seventh person going, but it's pretty nice. Turn lights on. Yeah, this is a pretty nice van. I gotta give them credit. They did a really good job. There's some things I definitely like about over the caravan that I've used, that I've had, and uh, even the, I mean the newer caravans are a lot better than they used to be. But four cup holders back here. You have two cup holders in the center back here as well. For the center seat, we have cup holders down here, and then we also have driver side, or I mean door side, cup holders on both doors as well. So lots of really cool uh, features. Very comfortable, very comfortable van. One thing real quick is when you have to, when you want to gas it up, if you actually pull this right here, that's how you open the fuel door. So it's actually a little lever down here. That's how you actually open it. So nice and secure, pretty cool way of doing it. Okay, so to go over the, uh, this is gonna be the, the, the dash system or the information system that you actually access from your control pad here on the steering wheel. And so on this guy, uh, right now I have, and these are all customizable pages here, at least the first little bit. So right now I have the fuel, the current fuel economy, the the speed, uh, of course I've stopped. Average fuel economy, of course, it's a little lower than probably average because it has kind of been a, a test vehicle for me. So testing out how well it does, uh, how much power it has. We have a lapse time of the current trip, so 8.6 miles, almost a half an hour, uh, driving around, shooting videos, things like that. All wheel drive monitor, this actually tells you where the power is going to your tires, uh, which I'll show you here, a little clip of what it looks like while you're driving. And so you kind of see a lot of the pressure goes to the front wheels. Of course, this is a, a van, so most of the power is gonna go to the front wheels, but it does uh, differentiate at least. It, at least it lets you know, time to rest, so you kind of understand when you're, uh, if you're on long trips. Uh, then we have our navigation, tells you which way you're, you're headed. Uh, radio so if i actually turn the radio on which i'm going to turn the volume down uh and you know you change channels whatever it'll tell you what's going on and what you're you're listening to uh we go to radar ready this is actually uh if i have the cruise control off or cruise control on you could change things i could change my uh automatic or adaptive cruise control settings i could change my lane departure settings or whether or not i want the lane departure stuff on this will also tell you blind spot mirroring stuff then I could go to, of course I'm below, yeah, I get, I get it. If you have messages, and then settings. This is where you can actually go in and change your uh, your your custom pages, for instance. So right now, these this is my main page of what, that I use. Uh, and you can change that to whatever you want. So if I want to change cur cur current fuel economy, distance till empty, elapsed time, trip speed, whatever. You can change it to whatever you want. Um, let's go to distance to empty instead. And we'll back back out. Uh, eco indicator, whether or not you're in eco settings, there's an eco indicator actually on over here by the speedometer, or I'm in tachometer, sorry. Uh, pop up display, things like that. You could change your blind spot monitoring if you want that, uh, how bright you want that setting. Uh, yeah, you, so you, you could change things all within the here maintenance reset. So, uh, of course, you could always go to default too. Look at that. And now we have distance to empty. So that's the information system in the center console, or I'm sorry, in the, the driver display. That is what the blind spot monitoring system looks like. It's just a, an orange light on the mirror. Then when the car passes, it goes away. Works quite well, and it's uh, it's good at letting you know what's going on. So it works, you know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta say it works.
Let you know that the car's coming up on top of you. There we go, there it goes again. So I saved the radio to last, and that's mainly because I have a big uh, video that I, I shot while I actually had the Tacoma on hand that is essentially the same radio. Now this is the smaller, I think seven inch display, has the CD player still on it. So it's not quite as big as the one I had on the Tacoma uh, 2020 Tacoma, but it still has the same buttons, layout, everything like that. So you can go through these right now over the home screen, you go through the menu screen, apps, projection. This is gonna be your CarPlay settings, things like that. I go to audio. Uh, I can, you know, if I'm actually listening to something, so let's say I go to FM radio, uh, of course I have it turned on. Uh, you can change your, oops, let's go back to that, sorry. I can change my sound settings, uh, you know, fade bills, treble, bass, things like that. Uh, you can say, change all that stuff in here. If I go to my map settings, then I'm obviously going to see the map. Seek, track back, phone, if you have your phone paired. Uh, apps is going to be where you're going to actually have apps, in this case the remote connect, um, which I don't have set up because this isn't my vehicle, but this is where everything's gonna show up on your thing. It is a great radio, and I highly recommend checking out that video on the radio that I did on the 2020 Tacoma, because essentially it's gonna carry over. Um, so check that out, I'll put a link down below for that video. Of course, we also have a backup camera on here as well, and also with the uh, parking sensors that I do have turned on currently. It's gonna actually, if I back towards something that has something, It'll tell you what's going on. It'll give you those bars to tell you how close you're gonna hit it. And there we are. So that is what the uh, parking sensors look like. Okay, so with the rear tailgate, I'm gonna go in here and show you some of the settings back here. So uh, there is, you know, just a button to unlock and lift the tailgate. And then we have our rear uh, seats. So these are kind of cool because you can actually adjust the layback with this lever, so how, however you know much they want to actually lay back, we can actually adjust that back here quite a bit back, to be honest. Very, very relaxing. Uh, and that's actually kind of a second feature built into the stow system, which is just one lever. So all you do is pull this, pull it, and unlock it, and then you all stow it all back down. And we can do that to both sides real quick and easy. Very, very, very fast. To put it back up, you pull on that lever as well, Relax in, you grab this strap, and that's when you adjust how far back you want to go. And you could always obviously readjust. You just love, look, readjust it however you want it. Go back to the other guy, adjust its back. You know, put the headrest back up. Good to go. Very fast, very easy. There is a cargo net here as well. You can set back up if you so choose to use it. Of course, uh, this probably doesn't come with all the models. Big storage bin over here to the side. Uh, then over here, see this is probably where the jack or whatever it is. Yep, that's where your, your emergency jack is located. Just like I thought. If we want to close the tailgate, there's a button on the bottom. Right, right here, there's a button right here where we can actually close the tailgate. And it'll automatically close the tailgate for us. There's that camera right there. If you ever wanted to clean the lid, that's where that guy is. And then down here where the handle is, there's the main button which actually opens the tailgate. There's a smaller button off to the right that locks the vehicle. Pretty awesome. The front of the vehicle is very, very sleek. We got the fog lights down there. We got everything. Just a real, real pretty car. And I mean, I've had them now for a little over a week, just about a week now. And uh, unfortunately, I gotta give it up tomorrow. So she's a beaut. She's a beaut, Clark. So that is the 2020 Toyota Sienna. And this, of course, this is the XLE model, um, all wheel drive. And I love it, I really do. Um, you know, we were considering going back to a van and I would, I think there's a really good possibility now that I've driven this for a week, that this will probably be my next vehicle for my wife. Um, or my wife's next vehicle, I guess is the best way to put it. She's definitely very interested in doing it. Uh, and I really like this vehicle. Now, of course, there are some caveats. I definitely want the rear entertainment system that this is lacking, uh, but everything else is spot on. I love this vehicle. I would like to have the larger touchscreen interface. There's things that I, I, I definitely would see. And we'll, who knows what uh, 2021 is gonna bring when they actually bring out the, the, the next iteration of this van. But Toyota, you, you did a really good job with this one. You have a lot of features like the uh, the USB plugs in the back seat, uh, 
fantastic. There's there's a lot of features of this van that work out in his favor, and the all-wheel drive is the caveat, the, the 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 thing that brings it all together, at least for me and my family where we live. So thank you for watching. Please let me know if the audio it works for you in this video. Uh, I'm hoping to bring a lot more automotive videos on this channel and uh, continue my my call out to various vehicles that. I think definitely uh, hit a stride. This is a, a solid, very well done van. I apologize for any rattling there. I forgot about the, the other mount I have there for the GoPros. <laughs> but uh, that said, thank you for watching the video. Please comment, subscribe, share, share, like it. And uh, we'll catch you back here on TechGooch for another, well, hopefully future, future automotive video. So see you soon, guys.